Hey guys, it's Mike and you're watching That's Cool Vintage Collectibles and today we're on our way to the Cabin Fever Antique Show in Kingston, Ontario. Come along for the ride. Oh, well, we just arrived. We're at the uh, Cabin Fever Kingston Antique Show. I'm about to go inside, see what I can find. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's uh, incredibly mild for February in Ontario. I'm looking forward to having a good little look around. So as I'm walking in, this is the uh, notorious Kingston Penitentiary. It's no longer in service, but it's right beside the uh, harborfront building that we're in for the show. Thought I'd take a video of that. This is what the uh, the floor looks like. And it was, as you can see, it was very, very busy when I got there in the morning. Hard to walk in down the aisles and uh, to check things out. It was extremely packed with people, but that's a good sign for collectibles and the, uh, the future of collectibles as well. Uh, nice to see that. The first piece I saw that really captured me was this uh, Columbia Records sign. I thought this was just fantastic and um, I really would have liked to have taken this home but uh, at $1,700 it was not happening today. But uh, it's a wonderful 1950s porcelain sign, uh, single-sided, but uh, just a fantastic piece. I, I really like this piece, and it was a dealer near Ottawa that had this. Um, the rest of the show, this is some really quick footage of uh, what things look like. I had to film super fast because people always like to come up and talk to me, or um, you know, I end up knowing some people here, so it... Uh, it's hard sometimes to get footage. These are paintings by a uh, famous Ontario musician named Michael Bainan. Those are some of his original paintings. I thought that was cool. And this is some more just general stuff from the show, what the layout looked like. There's a boat back there, which is pretty cool. Again, sorry this is so fast, but um, it was actually pretty hard to get uh, footage without people standing in front of you. It was so busy. Uh, here's some just normal kind of collectible stuff that I like that's just for sale. I saw this Beatles game, but at 195 I thought that was a bit high for what that was. Um, but I don't have that. That would be cool to get. This is just some other general stuff that's uh, floating around. Lots of old stuff, lots of cool um, original Canadiana stuff as well. Uh, some very high-end stuff at this show. Really, really good quality stuff and a lot of varied mixture of things. Um, but of course I look for, you know, what I look for and eventually stumbled across this guitar. My wife caught a little film footage piece of me doing that and uh, it's very exciting. I'll tell you all about that now. So back in 1997, I bought one of these. These are um, uh, silver tone guitars that were made between 1968 and 1972. And in Canada, they were called the Silver Tone 26877. And I think in the U.S. they were called the Silver Tone 1445. Um, in Canada, they were issued by Sears Catalog. And you could buy this out of the Sears Catalog. And it was the... Cadillac of the Japanese Tiesco Moss Wright Silver Tone lines that um, uh, you could buy. They were the best of the best, and they had all the dials. They had three pickups, you know, three switches, four knobs. They've got everything. And um, uh, so I sold this guitar. Uh, actually, no, I traded this guitar. I should say towards a Gibson SG that I bought one time that I still own, actually, and. Um, this was traded in just to help soften the blow of that guitar. And I always kind of thought, well, I'll find another one of these and it won't be too bad to replace that down the road. They're, they're easy to come by. And I never found one. It's been uh, since 2001 is when I got rid of that. And I've never seen another one. And uh, I've seen online these come and go but I've never actually been able to replace the one that I traded so to see this today was kind of a, a cool thing and I decided it needed to come home with me and needed to be part of the collection here at the studio and I'm really happy to find that that's a great guitar uh, you know they play okay they're not uh, they're certainly not a Fender or a Gibson but they have a, a cool tone and the pickups are pretty cool that are in these old Japanese guitars and I, I just have a kind of a soft spot for them um, but in particular this sort of uh, Moss Wright looking uh, that refers to a guitar company called Moss Wright um, Ventures style surf guitar you know and uh, I, I just think they're cool so I was really pleased to get this uh, let's see how it sounds 
Hey guys, and I am back at my studio and I have this guitar plugged in and it sounds fantastic. And Got some nice uh, 60s fuzz going on with this. Plays great, it sounds awesome, nice and warm. And it's definitely gonna find a home here at the studio. Yeah. So on the way home, I decided to take the Glenora Ferry, which is a great way to get home. I don't know, I just hate highway driving some days. And when it was a nice sunny day like this, this is not a normal southern Ontario February afternoon, that's for sure. And it was warm and sunny and bright, and I thought, why not get on the ferry and take the back roads home? And um, I just really enjoy this route. So if you're ever down in the um, the area of Prince Edward County, uh, the Glenora Ferry is a free ferry ride. It's only about 15 minutes. It's not very long. And um, I think it runs every half hour or something like that. And, you know, kids love it. I know my daughter loves doing this and uh, hopping on the ferry. And uh, it's, it's a short little crossing, but it's kind of fun. And you get some fresh air. You get outside and you can kind of watch the... Uh, the waves and the and, and the ice and it was pretty fun I, I enjoyed that just coming back there's a thrift store on the way home i wanted to hit and i got one more piece for the collection there so i'll show you that as well today the last item i found today was this original program uh playbill and scene magazine from the royal alexandra theater for the musical production of hair and this is original back to 1970 and uh, fully intact and in great condition and i picked this up at their thrift store so it was uh pretty cheap as well which is fun so that was the last piece I was able to score today and had a great day, picked up that wonderful vintage silver tone and then capped it off with this great program. So a good day of picking up collectibles for the collection. Uh, I want to thank everybody for their likes and subs. It's a new channel. We're just getting off the ground and I'm thrilled with the uh, response so far. So keep that coming and keep on collecting.